My first recollection of politics, and keep in mind that my dad was exposed to politics in 1976. I was, I was two years old then. So my first recollections, I'm nine years old. And my dad took me out of school and we flew to Oahu for the opening of the 1984 legislature. Kai's office, there's a picture of him standing on the steps of Washington DC on the Capitol with his dad and Senator Kaka. He was always involved, you know, with the political environment. Parents will often take their kids to Mohill Park to play baseball or to play Papuana football. Kai would go to the park, to the bandstand with his dad and he'd play politics, would be involved in politics. You know, my dad was a, was a very gentle, uh, caring Hawaiian man. You know, he was born and raised uh, in the fishing village of Middle E in South Kona, but grew up here in Hilo. As a child, you're never prepared for that, uh, that moment when your mother or your father is helpless in, in essence and you um, realize that their life might be coming to an end. And, and, and we did when uh, my dad was in the hospital. You know, you look at your mom, you look at your dad, and especially me, I looked at my dad, he was my hero. You know, he was, uh, he was Superman, you know. And so it was tough to have that conversation with him. But he made sure my wife was there, he made sure Maria was there, and uh, one of the things he did was, um, should he pass if I would step up into his shoes? Because he really felt that uh, there was work left undone. When you have that conversation, the last thing I want my dad to think about and worry about is that. And so of course I said, I got this, no problem. You know, don't worry about that. I never realized that uh, three days later, um, that time would come. When his dad passed away, or when um, our papa, as we affectionately call him, passed away, I think that we were all just very lost. As much as everyone else loved him, of course we loved him all that much more, right? So when he was in the hospital, he called both of us, Kai and myself, and asked us if we would continue what he had started, we said yes, we stepped up and he took on the role and took on the work that his dad had started prior to this. And that was a difficult time for our family. You know, it was, it was, it was a challenging time. And, and, and frankly, it's, it's been a blur ever since. I guess you never know when, you know, life is going to throw a little curveball in your plan. The experiences I have been able to have over the last 20 years, um, whether it was my time playing volleyball at the University of Hawaii or serving in the Hawaii Air National Guard and deploying to Iraq and Afghanistan and, and leading combat missions in a hostile environment, all of those things uh, really prepared me for that moment. He is really good at prioritizing our girls. He will fly home, even if it's just for a couple of hours, to make sure that he can either take them to school or say goodnight to them. Sometimes he doesn't come home till midnight, and that's really hard coming from Oahu to Hawaii Island. It's, it's been a difficult road, but it's also been a road that has presented incredible opportunities, and incredible opportunities for, for myself to help shape the future of Hawaii.